you can see here, I got a big box and it's the collector's edition. So I'm just going to cut it clean open because I am super excited for this. It's packaged really well. Matter of fact, I struggle to kind of pull this out, but I, I think the first part looks, I think the box and the box art looks amazing. That's the steel book right there. That's the back of the steel book and the inside of the steel book. I was trying to wiggle this out, no luck. <laughs> and this is what the collector's edition box actually looks like. So as you can see on the back here, it kind of shows the uh, like parts of the flamethrower. And the top, obviously, you know, promoting Far Cry 6. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Ubisoft in any way, shape, or form. Just a, a game franchise that I enjoy. The top here, we got an art book. And a lot of this art looks really cool. Some of the different character models. Just kind of browsing through it to see there's Danny. The art is one of my favorite parts of a lot of these games. You know, they take the artists and those are the backpacks. The artists take a lot of their time to draw out these things and looking through these books kind of makes me a nerd, but and there is the flamethrower that comes in this, which is pretty fucking cool, if I may say so myself. <laughs> but overall, I think it had a lot of cool art in it. I'm trying to find the main villain here. Because we've all been looking for him. And there he shall lie. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but obviously, but this is the map of the game and it looks to be a poster. Oh yeah, that's, that, that's the whole map of the entire game, which I'm wondering if I can actually use instead of having to pull up the map, but I'm not fully sure there. And that's the poster in the back. And I think what I'm pulling out next are, we're gonna go with these stickers. They look really cool. We have a lot of different stickers, more than I would expect. A lot of Libertad ones from Yara with Love. <laughs> Gotta love that one. Ooh, that one's amazing. Gotta have that nice, those Molotovs, flamethrower, etc. That's what all the stickers are looking like so far together. Looking pretty good to me. <laughs> I'll put all these back in the bag now, just so that, just that I don't lose them or manage to damage them in any way shape or form i don't even know if i'm going to use these or if i'm going to try to collect them or maybe put some tape on the back and put them somewhere so that i don't screw with the adhesive i'm gonna set this aside for now just because i don't want to have to screw with putting them back in and that is going to be the directions for the replica flamethrower I 
love it. There's some warning signs just to say, <laughs> don't burn yourself. And what do we have here? We have the chorizo key ring. I think that looks so cool. I really think they did a great job with the art in this game. Well, I mean, in with the pieces for it. That's the in-game soundtrack. I haven't even really received a physical version of these for any game, but that will be the track list on the back if anybody's interested. I'm excited to listen to it in general and the game. I received this actually um, today, and I don't think the game's supposed to come out until like 12, but I received it early this morning. This top part is half of the replica, which had me confused a little bit because I was like, it has to have more, you know. There's a lot of... I didn't zoom in very well. I'm not zooming in very well, but there's a lot of detail within all of these pieces. So you can see just the different... It's like it almost has some rust. But it looks like they did a really good job, given the price point, of course. You know, I know that a lot of this stuff's made cheap, but good design is what matters. <laughs> and there we have the body itself in the fuel tank. Looks like we got a display stand there. It's kind of like, I I love the idea of you having to put it together yourself, but I also hate it at the same time. I think it's, it's great because it's more interactive, but at the same time, you know, sometimes it's a little bit of a pain. This took me a second, so I cut out all the footage of me um, building it, but this is what the final product looked like. This was the whole entire replica flamethrower. I loved it, I thought it looked really good, but, anywho, um, this was my first video, I figured it'd be a cool one since it launched today, I'll be playing it on my channel tomorrow, um, I'll probably be playing some horror games for Halloween.